question comes up quite often with uh, with many of my clients really around the question of who should lead a change. And a lot depends on what kind of change we're talking about. So let's start with a spectrum, a continuous spectrum. At one end, we have the, the more deterministic, programma programmatic or, or tool or technology centric kinds of changes. So, you know, if you know exactly where you're headed, you know what it takes to get there, it still might be a lot of work, right? You put up a new building, build a new home, build a new office, build a new factory. There's a lot of, you know, you know exactly where you're going to get, end up. On the other hand of the extreme, you have more of a stochastic, you know, random walk, uh, a VUCA world, uh, which stands for vulnerable, uncertain, uh, uh, complex and ambiguous, or organic change, or people-centric change, talking about culture and capabilities and things like that. So, so that's a continuum, and, and change, we know, you can evaluate where you are based on the type of change we're talking about. Now, the, the vertical axis is really looking at who this is. Um, at one end, well, I'll put what I call really leader-owned, and I emphasize that word owned. Owned really, you know, should mean all the things that come along with that. Uh, you know, drived, engaged, out in front, you know, really waking up in the morning thinking about the change, um, not just asking for a status report. At the other end, you could almost say, you know, a program management office, um, you know, a, a, a determined team that's out there just to go run projects. So, you know, somewhere in between, you might have, you know, delegated ownership, um, uh, and you might have sort of sponsorship uh, somewhere along that spectrum. All right, so, so there's, there's a spectrum here as well around different, different levels of where that ownership should lie. Well, there really is a correlation in terms of good practice. This is the axis, right? The more, more you're over on this spectrum, the more it has to be leader owned. The more it's, you know, very, very clear and we just need to get it done, uh, the more it, it fits that type of, type of a resource. And, and so we, depending on what you're talking about, if you're talking about a cultural transformation, well, boom, you're, you're, you're up here. If you're talking about a, a cross-functional transformation of a process, well, it's, it's, you know, it might fall here in the spectrum. So maybe sponsorship is, is okay. Uh, if you're talking about transformation of, of a team, you know, it might be a, some stuff out here, but also a, a little bit more, more here. And so maybe delegate starts to work. The point is, is that, you know, we, we often think about this, uh, this ownership uh, based, on, based on past practice versus really what the nature of the change is. And so I encourage you to think about where you are on that spectrum and where your ownership of a transformation needs to reside. So hopefully that gives you some things to think about as you're planning your next uh, micro or macro transformation.